it's Julius! It's so good to see you today! We made you something really special! <laughs> Please accept this from us! Hey, hey, hey! I'm sorry, girls. Prince Julian will not be able to accept these gifts. Please, please, please! We just want a single hug from him! Please! I'm sorry, girls. You have to leave. Uh-oh. I wonder where my first class is. Uh, there's literally no one to help me on the first day. Huh? <laughs> what the heck? What did you do? Hey, are you blind? Can't you walk properly? <gasps> I don't know why they even let these disgusting people go to school. They don't even have manners on how to act. <laughs> Excuse me? The only disgusting person right here is you! Talking frick from your mouth and talking about manners? <laughs> what a jerk. What did you say? Huh? I said, you're a jerk. This guy right here literally bumped into me and all this juice is spilled on me. Instead of asking for forgiveness, you're acting up. Forgiveness? Do you even know who this is? Of course I do. Some rich, spoiled brat who thinks all high of himself and thinks he could do whatever he wants. But no, I won't let this happen. Not in my case. <gasps> oh my my, she's so tough. I know, right? You piece of freak. Let her go, Max. Ugh, if you think I'll apologize to you, then forget it. And also, next time, watch your surroundings before walking. Please, Julian. Why would you let her go like that? She was being so disrespectful. Let's go. We're running late. Welcome back home, your majesty. Thanks. Oh my son, welcome back home. It was a long wait, son. How was your day at school? My apologies, Stat. Actually... Actually, your majesty, there was something that happened at school. What happened, Julius? Is everything alright? It's nothing, Mom. Everything is fine. But son, if there's something, then you can tell us. It's just, I bumped into someone in the school hallway. It's nothing much. You should be careful, Julius. You're the next king of this palace. You should not let other people downgrade you. I agree with her, but I suggest you be careful, son. Those people are our subjects. Don't let them feel unknown. It's our duty to protect them, and that's how we earn respect. I'll keep that in mind, Mom. <sighs> you were never fit for this empire. Do you know why? Because you don't know how to rule as a queen! And that's why the palace near my son is always empty. Because he doesn't get what he deserves. Mom, please, don't start anything now. I've never complained about it. Julius' mother may not be able to become the queen of this palace, but everyone knows that she's a queen of our hearts. The kindest lady. And that's why everyone loves and respects her. Hmm, whatever. But this time, I'm going to find a perfect queen for this throne. She will not only be Julius's wife and daughter-in-law of this family, but also a great queen who knows how to rule. Day after tomorrow, Princess Selena is coming with her parents. I hope you won't disappoint us. What? Uh, uh, Grandma, I know you always want the best for me, but there's really no need for that. As I've already decided who I'm going to marry. Son, what are you saying? Yes, Dad. Instead of getting married to someone I don't have feelings or, or don't even know much about, I think it's better to marry someone I love. 
But Julius, who is she? You never mentioned it before. It would be better if we saw her in person. Don't tell me you're following your father's steps, Julius. I would appreciate if you forgot about her and married Princess Selena. You know how well our family relations are. I understand you, Grandma, but I'm sorry. I've made up my mind. It's either her or no one else. We have so many expectations from you, Julius. You didn't think for a second before disappointing us? Mom, it's not that bad. If Julius has found someone he knows and loves, I think we should support him. Let him make his own decisions now. And what about the reputation of this palace? Does it mean nothing to you at all? You're right. She will be the future queen of this palace, and I'm sure if it's Julius's choice, she will be the perfect fit for him. I heard this a long time ago, when his father decided to marry you, but look, you never get to become a decent queen. Grandma! It doesn't matter if mom became the queen or not. She's still addressed as a queen and loved by everyone. This is how a real queen should be. Respectful and kind. Thank God. God has blessed me with such a warm-hearted son. Okay then. We would like to meet her parents. From which kingdom does she belong? Uh, she's not from a royal family, but rather an ordinary girl. Are you out of your senses, Julius? You want to marry a commoner? I think there's nothing wrong with that, Grandma. I guess I'll introduce her shortly. Please allow me to leave. I will never let this happen. What will people think about us? Miss Adelaide, I know my words won't please you, but he's a man now. If he already loves someone, then we can't stop him. That's why... That's why I never accepted you as queen of this palace! You and your thoughts! How pathetic! She has really got some real attitude. Come in. The door is open. Prince Julius, did you call for me? Yes. Please, come in. Prince Julius, I heard that there's something going on in the palace. Is everything okay? <sighs> Don't worry about it, man. Come on, Prince Julius. We have been friends and been working with each other for so long. I would highly appreciate it if you tell me what's going on. And why do you want to marry a commoner? I'll tell you everything soon. But first, I need you to find me this one girl in school. She's the only one who's going to be my future wife. Well, do you have any pictures of hers? Max will provide you with the portrait of her. I don't know her name, though. Please, you have to do me this favor. Find out about that girl as soon as possible. I don't have much time. As you say, Prince Julius. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for shopping. Please come back again. Officer Williams! I found her! There she is! <gasps> oh no, not this again! <laughs> hey! Wait up! We've got you now! Ah! Uh, where did she go? Oh, great. She escaped once again. Maybe she went that way. Ah, <sighs> thank God. You must be Zoe, right? <laughs> Zoe? 
right? I uh, yes, uh, but who are you? Why are you stumbling? Ah, is this because you're running away from the police? You might be thinking that I'm one of them. <gasps> who are you? And how do you know I was running away from them? <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe. By the way, I just found out that you ran away from school a week ago, and that the police are looking for you because you threw a bowl of hot oil on one of the teacher's face. She's seriously injured, you know. So, what now? Have you come here to hand me to the police? Not at all. I'm here to help you. <laughs> no way. I don't believe in strangers like you. It's obvious, but I'm serious. You also know that you won't be able to hide from the police for a long time. And if they catch you, you know what they'll do, right? But, on the other hand, you have a very bright future. Something that only people with golden fate get. Oh yeah? And what's that? Are you here to sell lottery tickets or something? Even better. To marry Prince Julius. You must have heard about him, right? Uh, you sure you didn't have any drinks in the morning? Want some proof? I'm his personal secretary. And also a close friend. But... Why would a prince want to marry someone like me? Does he even know me? Oh well... Unknowingly, you caught his attention and now he wants to marry you so bad. Consider yourself lucky because you're going to have only a bright future. But you'll only get respected by people. And not like this. Running for life. I see. But I'd like to meet him first. I'm sorry, but you can only see him after marriage. Soon you'll get married to him. So we need to take care of so many things. In the meantime, you'll stay at a place near the palace. Hmm. <sighs> okay. But you better not be scamming me. Of course I won't. Now, if you're ready, we can go. Here's your royal car. Follow me. Should I really trust this guy? What if he's scamming me? Ugh, your life is already terrible anyway, Zoe. And nothing worse can happen than already is. It's been a few days since I've been living near the palace, but I still haven't seen the prince. But there's one thing I noticed, and that is, nobody was actually looking happy, as I heard them gossiping about how Prince Julius disobeyed his grandma, and decided to marry a girl who's not even from a royal family. And it never happened in their history. Oh wow, the dress looks so beautiful. I can barely recognize myself. You can wait here until they inform us to bring you, Miss Zoe. Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. I wonder why everyone is acting so weird here. <gasps> you? What? What are you doing here? And why did you close the door? Is it that difficult to recognize the man you're getting married to? <gasps> what? What? I can understand what you're thinking. I should have showed up earlier, but I didn't want to ruin this. So, this means you're Prince Julius? Mm-hmm. That's me. So, uh, wait. Why are you doing this? I think you know the reason, don't you? No one in the world dared to even talk in front of me. And then there was you. You insulted me in front of hundreds of people. I like that dareness in you. Now, get ready for an adventurous life. Oh yeah? So it was all your plan, huh? <laughs> what if I run away? Hmm? What are you going to do to me? Uh... <laughs> huh? <laughs> 
Aw, do you think I'm dumb? You know what'll happen if you do that. I'm afraid that it might be a little risky, you know. The police are already waiting outside. And if I tell them that you're here, I fear that you'll have to face the trouble. No, you're not going to do that, are you? <laughs> I might, I might not. But you have no choice left, sweetheart. Uh, I just can't wait for this marriage to make your life miserable. Oh, and by the way, you look gorgeous. <laughs> life will surely be adventurous, but more than me. It's for you, Prince Julius. Do you really think I'm easy to handle? I'll make your life a living heck. You'll see. Planning to jump down from here to escape. <laughs> it's a piece of cake for me. But why go back to hell when you can be the queen of this palace? <laughs> oh lord. So now you're seeing yourself as queen. Really? <laughs> and why not? You'll be the king here soon, and I have to take the place beside you. Oh wow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're insanely smart and clever. But sweetheart. Everything is in my hands. Oh yeah? I doubt that. I mean, you'll become the king just because of me. <laughs> ah, so I'll become king because of you, huh? Oh, nice one. <sighs> Anyways, I don't think I'm going to be here for a long time. And why do you think that? Did you not see your grandma's face at a wedding? She was staring at me as if I was a puddle of mud. She looked disgusted upon seeing me. I already felt her sharp eyes. She'll figure out soon who I am. <sighs> Makes sense. But my mind is way more sharper than her eyes. <sighs> Not to worry. I cleared everything. <laughs> Was that a joke? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Nothing, it's just... I pictured you differently when I saw you before marriage. But you're completely different. You're more like... a baby. <laughs> so you really think of me as a baby, hmm? Oh, baby girl. I can do what you can't even imagine me doing. Do you really want to see? Get away from me, pervert! <laughs> I have to say, you're totally my type. You know, I never thought that my decision would change as quickly. And what if you regret this decision later? There's no chance. Okay, but still. Like, what if? I don't think that far ahead. Maybe, I don't need to. Ugh, great. Now there's no fun. <sighs> hey, I heard you ran away from school after throwing hot oil on a teacher's face. Ah, you did a lot of background checks on me, huh? I just needed to know what kind of typhoon I'm bringing into my life. They get what they deserve. Neither do I hold grudges nor let anyone live peacefully when they mess with my life. Well, I hope I haven't done anything wrong. Maybe not now, but be careful for the future. I guess you have been warned. <laughs> As you say, my queen. I need some space. Uh-huh. All right. By the way, your mother told me that... You said we loved each other for almost a year, and you denied to marry any other princess just because of me. Yep. Well, part of it is true. I lied because I didn't want to marry someone. But when you shut up, I thought of taking revenge on you for insulting me. But the plan failed. Huh? Plan failed? How come? I've realized that it won't do any good for either of us. Like I have to get married, and now I've taken this risk. Why not go ahead with this marriage itself? So, uh, you're saying that we're married like a real couple now? Why? You don't want to. No, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, we don't even love each other and, uh, know each other properly. Would actually work? 
We can start over, you know. Let's start with being friends. And don't worry, because sooner or later, we'll fall in love. Ahem, <clears throat> I... I meant... who knows? I... I meant... who knows? Uh, this is getting really awkward now. <clears throat> I... So, have you ever been to royal stuff before? Uh, I'm sorry, your highness, but as I said, I'm just an ordinary girl. Exactly! You're just an ordinary girl, you damn marry a prince! Do you even think you're fit for this? Why do you think it's wrong? Are you asking me what's wrong? Do you know how it is to be living in a royal family? Do you even have any manners? An orphan like you who wasn't raised by your own parents can never become part of this family! With all due respect, these words don't suit you, your highness. Just because you get the luck to be born with a silver spoon doesn't give you any right to downgrade others. Not everyone lives a happy life like you. Tell Julius that you can't stay here. And I want you to break this marriage so that the right girl will take over this palace. Because I want a queen. Someone who is royal and not an orphan. I'm sorry, your highness. But I don't think that's possible now. And also, an orphan like me can become a queen. After all, you should give a chance to bring some changes into this kingdom. The audacity! You'll regret it soon. <sighs> Dang, she's scary. Are you alright, sweetheart? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, did I scare you? Oh, uh, please don't apologize, your highness. No need. You can call me mom. Now I'm your mother, too. <sighs> yes, mom. Oh, wow. wow. It's, it's been, been so long since the last time I called someone mom. mom. She's so, so nice, nice and kind. And <laughs> now that sounds much better. I'm so happy that Julius followed his heart. I can see him being different now. It might be a little difficult for you to adjust in this environment, but never feel alone, okay? I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. Don't be upset by Grandma Adelaide's words. She may be harsh sometimes, but she's a good lady at heart. Good morning, son. Good morning, Mom. What are you guys doing outside of Grandma's room? <sighs> she called Zoe to have some words with her. Hmm? Are you okay, Zoe? Um, yes, I'm okay. Oh, why don't you show your wife the palace, son? She's soon going to be the queen, so introduce her to everybody. Yeah, sure. Shall we? Sure. You're acting differently today. What do you mean by different? Like, you're not being loud and rude. And most importantly, not being savage. So you think I'm loud and rude? Did I say it wrong? I don't know. I'm a bit tense right now. Is there something bothering you? <sighs> I think I made your grandma angry by replying to her in a little rude way. Now I'm scared. But it wasn't my fault at all. She was downgrading me constantly and even called me mannerless just because I'm an orphan and not a royal like her. And guess what? She told me to break this marriage. And what did you say? Uh, I said that I won't, and uh, that I'll be the future queen. <laughs> I can't imagine myself being that daring in front of her. You really are something else. Grandma literally has someone on her level. Oh god, I, <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but your mom is really sweet. The kindest lady I've ever seen. She treats me as her own daughter. I know. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm? Why is your grandmother still the queen and not your mother? I mean, according to the law, she should be queen. Well, my mom belongs to our enemy kingdom. Dad fell in love with her and married her even though both of the kingdoms were forbidden. But they got married without anyone's permission. And then there was a war between our kingdoms. And surprisingly, we won. But Grandma never accepted her. 
But because Dad was not ready to leave her, Grandma forbade her from the position of the queen. Hmm, sounds like an ancient fantasy novel story. And now, after hearing all of it, I don't think your grandma will let me become the queen. I think your mother should fight for herself. She's all perfect for being a queen. We commoners need this kind of queen who is humble and kind, and not the one who downgrades just because she's above us. How about you make this change now? You think... I can be queen? Without a doubt. <sighs> uh, oops. <laughs> I didn't eat anything today. That's why. <laughs> Let's go have a tour of the kitchen. And meanwhile, they all get to see their future queen as well. I'm sorry to question you again, your highness, but what are you saying? I'm doing this all for the sake of this kingdom. If that girl stays alive, this kingdom is never going to get its queen. I agree with you, but there can be other ways. It's a crime. How can we kill Princess Zoe? She's not a princess, first of all! A commoner that too, an orphan! Do you think she can rule this kingdom? I don't want to hear anything after this! It's my order! And also, make it an accident and not a murder! Got it? <laughs> wow! In order to rule this kingdom, you're going to become a murderer by killing an innocent girl? Wh what are you doing here? And since when were you here? Since you were planning to kill Julius' wife, are you being for real? How can you even think about that? Has your greed brought you this low? Watch your mouth! How dare you talk back to me like that! You still think of yourself as high and mighty. Why can't you just accept it? Why can't a normal girl become the queen of this palace? That evil act that you're planning. Do you think you're doing any good? It's all your fault! It's all your fault Julius chose to follow your footsteps and brought that orphan here! I'm happy my Julius did that. You would have just brought a girl who could rule this kingdom, but he would never be able to have love and happiness in his life. And I'm happy that he decided to follow his heart. I never said anything to you, but now, I need to say that you're wrong and if you're still trying to harm that girl, I'll expose you to everyone. You must stop now. That's enough. You have ruled enough. She is right. Let it happen, your highness. <sighs> the day has finally come, son. I can never be more happy than this. My son is going to be the next king. To the soon to be king and queen, I am very happy for the both of you. May God always bless you both. Um, I can't take it, Mom. What? What are you saying, sweetheart? I think I'm not ready for such an honor, Mom. More than anyone, you deserve this crown. People want a humble and kind queen like you. Zoe... She's right, Mom. You deserve this before us. I don't want to be king anytime soon. I still have to experience a lot before taking over this crown. Exactly. And I don't know anything about royal stuff, so... I would be happy to learn it from Grandma before becoming a queen. Right, Grandma? Mom, please say something. If everyone is ready, then I don't have any problem. Best decision ever! <laughs> I love you, Grandma. <laughs> At the end, everything got better. Miss Cadence, aka the Queen, became the crowned queen, and everyone cheered as they got the best queen. Meanwhile, me and Julius are still trying to get to know each other and soon planning to start a family together and live happily ever after.